Hey everybody, this is Becca from Stiletto's Fine Arts Studio and I'm doing art at the park again today. Today I'm in Waverly, New York at the Waverly Glen Park. It is so quaint and peaceful here. It's my first time. This is my, um, it's from my art at the park. <laughs> it's, it's my first time here. I just arrived. I'm parking the car and it is so quiet. There's not a lot of people here. There's cute little um, toys for the kids to play on and whatnot. There's waterfalls. There's lots of trails, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to hit the trails today, but I do plan to go for a walk at the waterfall. My sister is uh, on her way with my niece and she's going to meet me here. They live out this way and we're going to have some fun. We're going to do some painting at the park. I have a commission piece to work on and then I'm going to do that over here at one of that, that table and then we're going to go have some fun for a little while and we'll see what this place is about. Part of the park. No other way to go in the summertime. The first thing I wanted to draw your attention to is I just opened this canvas and if you can see there's wrinkles and I have people come to me and go it really makes me upset they tell me this is what they tell me that they buy a canvas and it's all wrinkled and they don't know what to do with it. It's super easy to fix. You need a spray bottle of water. Now I have purified water from Wegmans here. I, I left it in the car and I can't drink it. It's set out in the hot sun. I have a whole 24 pack of it. So I'm like, what do I do with it? I use it for art or just when I need water. But for today, it's going to actually work beautiful because what we're going to do is we're going to flip the canvas over. And if you notice on the back side of a canvas here, it is unprimed fabric. So what do you do when you wear a t-shirt that gets all stretched out? What do you do to get it shaped back to it? First step is you wash it, you get it wet, and then you let it dry and it shrinks back up. Same thing works with canvases. So that's the process that we're going to do. First thing I'm going to do though, so I don't get held up, um, in the process of working on this is I'm going to actually transfer my image over to the canvas of uh, it's a pet portrait I'm doing a colorful one an abstract one I'm going to transfer that on first I'm not going to video record that and then I'm going to spray the back and then I'm going to put some colors on here so I will record that so you will see what I've done is I've taken this image and I've you can see the pencil line that came around I used my water bottles to hold the paper down I traced around it over transfer paper Okay, transfer paper has the like, you know, graphite on the back and then it, it left me an image. What I do first is I, I, I pull the transfer paper back before I remove it to see if I neglected anything, which I did. I neglected to put his nostrils in, so I put it back down. I don't move it and I'll go and I'll put in the pieces I want. This isn't about getting an exact duplicate. And that's the best about being part of being an artist is that you learn how to do that. But it's, you know, getting proper placement on eyes and noses. I can grit it, absolutely, but it wouldn't have worked for this painting because I don't want to, per se, paint the entire background. I want to put ink on it, so pencil lines wouldn't have been conducive for that. I'm going to ink the background and use oils on it. So I'm going to fix that up and then get it up and we're going to start spraying it. All right. I think I got this set this up so you can see it. As you can see, there's still wrinkles. What I'm gonna do is come behind this canvas. Always when you're out in nature, you always wish to have something to hold your canvas down or the air can grab it like a kite and make it fly everywhere. I'm just gonna lean this forward. I'm gonna take my trusty old dollar store spray bottle and I'm going to saturate the back of this canvas and then I no longer focus on it. But I do make sure I get up into the recesses and the corners. As it dries, it will shrink up and it will tighten up as long as you get it all. You'll know if you miss the spot. The really cool part is if you miss a spot and you started painting, you just literally do it again. You want to know how I know this? Well, so one day. I was painting and you can still see them. I might have to get up here in the corners a bit better. I was painting one day. I set my painting in a chair because I had a class. 
I was so proud of it. It was coming out really good. Somebody came to the class, saw the artwork in the chair, sat in the chair anyways. They leaned right up against it and they pushed it out. It had a big indent coming out this way and it seemed like it was ruined. And I was, you know, I don't get angry or anything like that. I used to. But I was a little disheartened because it was a special piece. And then I said, well, first went to the initial, there's no fixing it. Well, there was. I started looking and I saw my blow dryer. I actually did it with the blow dryer and I said, well, what if I get it wet and blow dry? That works too, by the way. I just don't have a blow dryer, so I'm gonna let it air dry. If it doesn't fix, we will be blow drying it. It will, it always does. Um, so I, spray, I got it wet and then I blow dried it and it shrunk right back up and the whole entire painting was fixed. So that's how I know this. All right, I think it's pretty good. Again, like I said, if these corners don't shrink, I will go home. It's a little buggy. We don't kill bugs, we blow them away. I will go home and do it again and I'll get the corners um, good. It's just got stretched out in shipping or something. They're never ruined. It's almost completely gone now and it's still wet. So that might tighten itself up. Sometimes the corners are tricky. I've done this with paintings that are $5,000 paintings where the canvas was, was loose. I don't worry about it. I don't focus on it. Anytime you can take a canvas off of the stretch and restretch it, but sometimes, you know, that's not required. You can just fix it like this. Okay, next step. And I'm going to explain real quick and then I'm going to go quicker. So they want colors all the way around here. All right. How do I do that? And I'll, I'll get them in the face of the dog, but that's fine. I'll... I'm going to paint over that with oil, but they want paint splatters and stuff. I'm going to use some liquid text ink, some Dr. Phil Martin inks, different colors and some water. It's one of my favorite techniques. It may come off of the camp easel here and go to the ground. We're going to see, but we're going to start up here. First step is completely saturate the entire canvas. Get nice and wet. They want splatters and stuff and runs and different things. So I thought about how to do this and I'm going, this is a good place to start. And I love to make a mess. I did this in my bathroom one time. It was middle of winter and it took my son and his muscles when for like three hours to scrub the ink out of the tub. And I think there might still be some remaining. So we learned not to do that. Um, they were looking for some more natural colors. So what I'm going to do... This is a beautiful terracotta. The premise of this, and like I said, I may, I may do a little something different, is look at, you put the ink on, and then you just wash it away where you don't want it. Streams are looking nice. I love the streams. And you just play with it until you like it. Okay? So, this is one of those things that we do in fast motion because you don't want to sit here and watch me do this whole process. Trust me, you don't. It takes me a while. And if I have to lay it down, I do not have the means to record that. So, not here at the park. But you got the idea. Alrighty. Everybody, this is my sister, Lord Beth, LB for short. <laughs> Stefan's sister, actually, my husband. Close but enough, we're all close sisters. enough. We're all sisters. I love <laughs> her. She walked it, up one sisters. day and she gave me big hugs in my house and we've been chill since. So. Big sis. <laughs> <laughs> we're here love doing it. this. This is what I got so far for this doggy picture. They wanted color. That's what, and we're just letting it air dry for now. And then I don't know what we're going to do. My niece is hiding behind a tree. We honor that she does not want to be on the video.
What do you do when you find one of these old toys and you want to ride it and there's no one to ride it with? You just get on it anyways. <laughs> I remember playing on these when I was a kid. I'm a little heavy for it. <laughs> Fun time. <laughs>